Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is a Moroccan chicken tagine with uh, vegetables. But at this time I'm using the regular potatoes, sweet potatoes, fennel and parsnip. It's different kind of vegetables that uh, we usually use. But all these vegetables, they have a kind of sweetness to it. And this chicken tagine is so delicious and nutritious. The first step, uh, we warm up the tagine. We put something under it. Uh, we don't put it directly on the top of the stove like that. Uh, if you don't have the clay tagine, you can use a regular pad or pan where you cook your food. I put some uh, olive oil. I always prefer olive oil in my cooking. Then I add the onions. Slice your onions uh, thin, a nice quantity of onions for this uh, tagine. And I will leave it cook until it gets uh, soft. Always I leave my onions cook until it gets soft before that I start adding the rest of the ingredients. For the chicken, uh, I clean it, then uh, add spices, uh, salt. You know, depend on the quantity of chicken that you have or uh, meat and some uh, black pepper. All the spices is uh, to taste. Some garlic, you can use garlic powder or uh, fresh garlic. If you have the fresh garlic, it's uh, better. But all of it is, uh, you know, good. Some uh, ginger. That's a ginger powder and turmeric. I don't use no colorant, but I use always turmeric. And I add a little bit of water to mix all the spices with the chicken. Not that much. Mix everything good until all the chicken is uh, coated with uh, the spices. And if you can do this uh, the day before or the morning before that uh, you cook this, it will be good. Uh, like the chicken will get all the spices, the flavors. If you marinate it, it's better. But if you don't have time, you can do it. Put spices on, then cook it at the same time. Now I start adding, uh, putting my uh, chicken on the top of the onions. Uh, the tagine, when you put the, the meat and the vegetables, you don't uh, stir it or do anything. However you put it, that's how it will stay. Except in the first step where uh, you want brown or cook the chicken a little bit from both sides before that you start adding any vegetables on the top of it. Okay, like that. Now yeah, that's all my chicken. And the food in the tagine uh, be so delicious, it's different. Always we cover it in between. Now I will flip the chicken to the second side. Now be sure to do this step before that you add uh, any other vegetables on the top. And on the tagine, we always cook in medium to low heat. You don't put no high heat on the tagine. It's, uh, it's slow, like you're cooking in a slow cooker. Uh, you try to cook in a very low heat or medium. That's it. I cover it again. And now I will be adding the vegetables. I have here fennel. I think I cut each one to four pieces. Fennel have a sweetness to it. It's like the sweet potatoes. Try it. Uh, you will love the fennel. It be so soft in the end and have a very nice taste. A lot of people don't know that is a vegetable that we cook with because uh, a lot of people use it only on salad. You can you know, use it on salad, but you can cook with it too. I have here uh, some potatoes that I add the same, the same spices that I added to the chicken. 
it. And then mix it on the same bowl where I did the, the chicken. It's only I take one uh, potato, it's not a lot of potatoes. I cut it uh, thin like that. Then the sweet potatoes. I try to choose all the vegetables that goes together when I cook my tagines because all these ones uh, goes well together. And here I have the parsnip. Parsnip is uh, seasonal. It's like a kind of a turnip, but it have a kind of sweetness to it too. Be sure that uh, you take the skin off and that you take uh, part of the inside, like because it's a root and the inside of it is uh, hard also. It's like uh, the big carrots. But it has a very good flavor. When you try it, you will love this uh, the parsnip. And for these vegetables, when I cut them, I use the same spices that uh, I did for the chicken. The salt, the black pepper, a little bit of turmeric and ginger powder. Like that all the vegetables will have, you know, be coated with the spices. I have a nice flavor. And the rest of these spices, as you see here, I will pour it on the top of all these vegetables. We don't waste nothing. Let's see, because when we put the vegetables on the top of the chicken on the tagine, we don't mix or stir again. That's it. That's how we will be until the end of the cooking. Then I drizzle a little bit of uh, olive oil on the top. Then I cover it until uh, the vegetables uh, have some heat on it before that I add uh, hot water. Not a lot, only a little bit of hot water in the sides, not on the top of the vegetables. The tagine don't need a lot of water to cook. It's only a little bit. And you cook it in uh, low or uh, medium heat. You don't use no high heat uh, for uh, the tagine. Now, you know, you see it's done. My tagine is done, all the vegetables. They are soft, well cooked and done. It looks really good and the taste is really, really delicious. The combination between all these vegetables give a very nice taste to this uh, chicken tagine dish. Thank you for watching. I hope you try this tagine and let me know in the comments how did you like it. See you next time in a new video and new recipe. Enjoy!